Hello friends, in this video we will see lead code problem number 202 and it's called happy number. So why is it called happy number? I don't know. Uh, but uh, the concept of happy number or rather it's called be happy number where b denotes the base of the number and we are generally uh, concerned with base 10. So in our case we are concerned with n happy number or we will simply call it happy number. So let's take an example. Uh, let's say we have 19 again in base 10. So if we do the square of its digits, so what we have to do at each step, at each, each step uh, we will replace the number with the square of sum of its digits, the, the sum of a squares of its digits. In this case, it's two digit number, it can be more digits also. So 19 becomes 81 plus one, that is 82. Then uh, we move to 64 plus four or 68. Then uh, 36 plus 64, which is 100. And this is one plus zero plus zero. So it becomes one. So whenever you reach one, then we will declare this number to be happy number, the original number. Uh, but this will not be always the case because sometimes you may keep looping and keep reaching to this same number. And once you re reach a certain number, uh, you and uh, you have reached you took the square, you reached here, then you reached some other number, some other number, some other number, some other number. And you reach again, a number which you have already seen. Let's say we reached here after certain calculations and we reached, uh, let's say, uh, 25. So sum of 25, uh, you, if you do the square and sum, it will become 29. Then, uh, it's 81 plus 4, it's 85. Then 64 plus 25 is 89. And uh, then it becomes 72 plus 81, which is 153. Then it becomes 25 plus 9 plus 1, which is 35. Then it's 25 plus 9, which is 34. And it's 9 plus 16, which is 25. So you reach, once you reach 25, you are guaranteed to move to 29 and again 85 and this will keep repeating and you will never reach one. So if you reach a number which you have already seen, then you will declare this number to be uh, unhappy or sad number or not, not a happy number. And another condition is that it should be natural number. So it should be greater than zero. Negative numbers are not natural numbers, neither is zero. And uh, let's just take an example of another base, although we will be solving for base 10 only. Let's say we have number six. And again, uh, in base 10. So if you do the square of six, it becomes 36. Then it becomes 36 plus nine, which is 45. Then 25 plus 16 is 41. Then uh, it becomes 17. Then 49 plus one is 50. Then 25 plus zero is 25, which we have already seen as an example. So after 25, it will reach there. And again, it will reach 25. So six is not a 10 happy number that is in base 10. But if, if you look at six in uh, base six, then its representation will be one zero in base six, because it's zero times six raised to the power zero. So zero plus one times six raised to the power one. So which is six. And if you do the square of digit, it becomes one plus zero equal to one. So this is denoted by P and this is already we have seen B. So P we will take at two always. And this was just for your information purpose. Uh, in this uh, video, we will be solving for base 
n only. So let's look at the lead code problem now. So here it again says uh, starting with any positive integer because it's true for natural numbers only and it's the same example of 19. So first uh, solution is very simple. It may remind you of solving the loop in linked list problem. So one way is to keep the keys in a map and you start traversing the list and once you reach a key which you have already visited that is it's in the map or the set then you will declare that there is loop in the list here also we will do similar thing we will keep storing the sums into a set hash set and calculate move to the next number and we will again check if this number is present in the hash set or not if it's present we will return false and uh, if it's not present, we will insert it into the map. And additionally, we will also be checking if we have reached one or not. And then the second approach of finding loop in the linked list was that we have two pointers, one slow and one fast. So here we will have two numbers, one slow sum and one fast sum. So in slow sum, we will calculate the sum of squares of digits of this number and in next iteration, whatever is the value of this slow sum, we will again calculate sum of squares of this. And for fast sum, we will we have to move by two steps. So we will do sum of squares and sum of squares of this f. So this f denotes the fast sum. So we do it twice. It's like moving next next in the linked list. So let's see both of these solutions one by one. So the first condition that we need to check is that if a num is less than zero, then we have to return false. So if n is less than equal to zero, return false, no processing required. And we also need a function to calculate the sum of squares. So we will pick the last digit, do the square of it, append add to the sum and divide it by 10. So while num is there, Now we will write our main function. So we need one has set, an ordered set. So find returns an iterator. So if it finds uh, a given number in the set, it returns iterator to that position. If it doesn't, it will return end iterator. So if it reaches end, that means this is not present in the set. And this loop will continue until it's a fresh number. So this loop will terminate when either at any stage sum of the squares become one when we return true or we reach, uh, we start iterating in a loop.
So in that case, this will find it in the cache. So in that case, we will return false. Let's run it on our case. So for 19, it's true. For negative, it will obviously return false. And that should be also expected from the problem definition of lead code because it also says starting with any positive integer, so it's correct. So let's take one negative example, which was six in our case. It's correct, so we can go ahead and submit it. Uh, so it says better than 58.22%. Let's try a couple of times. So in this case, it's not varying. Generally, I have seen this number vary a bit when you do multiple submissions. Okay, so it's uh, adamantly stuck at this value. Let's write the other solution, which is finding, just like finding loop in the linked list. This is also finding loop in the linked list but here we are using additional space here we will not use space so this condition remains the same then uh, we can get rid of this slow sum is number itself fast sum equal to sum of a squares of this so we make them unequal it can become equal only if n is 1 in that case because square of 1 is 1 0 we have already eliminated square of 0 is 0 and square of minus 1 is my, oh, plus 1 so this is true for just 1 negative numbers are not there so these will be equal only when n is 1 so let's check uh, we can add a check here itself if n equal to 1, return 1. Or it will work here as well. So maybe it becomes 1 in the very first stage, then uh, fast sum will become 1. Now we need to run the loop. So we are moving this by two steps and then we need to check this condition. And finally, return false. It works for six. Let's try 19. Again, it works. Obviously, it will work for 0 and negative because we are returning here itself. So we can go ahead and submit it. This is our second solution. And luckily, this gives 100% better than C++ and uh, that, that in terms of timing and also in terms of space. So I hope you enjoyed both the solution, especially the second one, because we got uh, some memories of finding loop in the linked list using slow and fast pointers. Thank you.